Okay, so good afternoon to each and everyone. So our lesson for this afternoon is all about the physical weathering and let us go on with the topic or with the lesson. So what is weathering first? Do you have any idea what weathering is? Okay, so when we say weathering, it has something to do with the breaking down of rocks from bigger particles into smaller particles with the different uh, forces applied on it. Okay, next. Are you familiar with this game? So this game is known as the four picks one word. So what is the what do you think is the answer on this one? Okay, very easy to answer. That's physical. Very good. Physical. Okay. So the question here is what causes the movement of the soil in the, in this slide? It's very obvious. Water causes the movement of the soil on this one. What causes the movement of the soil here? It's quite obvious that it's because of the wind. How about in this one? Water current also or the ice causes the movement of the soil. It occurs only in other countries, not here in the Philippines. Okay, now let's go back to our major lesson or topic. What is physical or also known as mechanical weathering? So weathering does not describe the weather but rather the process by which rocks breaks down into smaller pieces by different forces, okay? So this slide has something to do with water wedging. So at night, day, it will rain again, settle at the bottom until the time comes that the rock will, will what? Okay, will break apart because of the water wedging take so much time for it to occur or to happen okay now let us move on to frost wedging so when we say frost wedging when ice forms in cracks expands and breaks rock Shempre, when the water freezes it expands and breaks rocks apart and then that's because of the ice next is exfoliation it has something to do with the outer peeling of the layers of the land or soil just like our dead skin with peeling off dead skin exfoliation and different factors may affect that that's exfoliation for the third one is abrasion rocks hitting each other breaking into smaller pieces because the earth keeps on rotating on its axis and um the tectonic plates keeps on moving that's the reason why um, abrasion occurs most especially when there is an earthquake. Then let's not talk about that. Now let's move on to thermal expansion. Thermal expansion or heating and cooling rapidly of the rocks that causes it to break apart or crack. And the next one is the tree roots and animals. Because of the tree roots, the rocks tends to break apart the same with the burrowing of animals it has some uh, it is one of the agents also that causes weathering in animals and plants okay so i want you to remember the five um, major factors that causes weathering um with the abbreviation of fifth f for frost wedging e for exfoliation a for abrasion and uh three roots and animal burrowing and the last is for thermal expansion i think that's all for today or that's all for this afternoon. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. I'll just send you the activities later on about this topic. Bye.